This video is going to show us how R's function optim can fit linear models just the same as R's function LM, which stands for linear model. Now it turns out R's function LM is a clever and computationally friendly function that essentially just fits maximum likelihood estimators for multiple linear regression where multiple linear regression is like defined as a class of models to be fit with this one function. And it turns out, since all we're really doing is minimizing a negative log likelihood or maximizing a, likely, a log likelihood, Optim can do that just the same. Now, Optim isn't as finely tuned because it's more a generic minimizer than R's function LM, but for the most part, we're going to show in this video that you can use Optim just the same. And outside of this video, actually much of the world of machine learning and data science and artificial intelligence uses general class optimization methods like Optim provides. So first we'll do some quick notation to show the general class of functions that we will uh, that LM can solve, and then we will kind of introduce the way in which Optim is going to minimize this negative one times a simplified log likelihood, and then we'll jump into R and do a quick example. So assume you have observations for a response variable Y that follow a normal distribution with mean, you've got an intercept, plus, and then let's say you've got capital J further explanatory variables. And then some noise about all of your observations. Now this is just some fancy notation to string along. Maybe you have more than one explanatory variable. Maybe you could have multiple numerical explanatory variables. And maybe within there, you've got multiple um, levels of some categorical explanatory variable. Now, if you follow through the math of the likelihood function setup, you'll end up at a log likelihood, that's a function of the vector of coefficients beta, given your vector of observations x and y, and it happens to be that you get something down with enough simplification that looks like the following we called in a previous video sum of squared residuals. This is just a rewriting of that same idea. So you can see here is our observed value right here, our, uh, our response variable. And here is our prediction of those response variables. And the difference between them here is our residuals. And then you square your residuals, and then you sum them all up. So you essentially have sum of squared residuals. Now let's entertain me whoops, and draw a picture of what this looks like in multiple dimensions as if you had one axis that, let's just say, consists of the uh, first coefficient, I'll ignore for really no great reason, the intercept, and then you have a second axis of your second coefficient, and here we've got a shorthand for our log likelihood function as a function of the parameters to be estimated beta. Now what we're essentially trying to do then is on this three-dimensional function is walk downhill from, here I am trying to walk downhill, from an arbitrary starting point that we're just going to kind of randomly choose. Oops. we're going to try to walk downhill from that randomly chosen starting point to our best solution given the data we have. 
And that is what we're really trying to do is find beta hat equal to the minimum argument with respect to beta of the simplified log likelihood function. And this is the piece that Optum can do. It can approximate a derivative of our log likelihood, set the derivative equal to zero, and then solve for the vector beta hat. And it'll do it in multiple steps, trying to walk down the sides or the gradient of the function we give it. So over here in R, I've got some work already set up that we can just go along with. We'll load some libraries for plotting, and then I generally like to do data, some sort of data manipulation, or at least I load the library to do it, whether or not I actually use it. We'll read in the data set named cars under my GitHub repository, where we're going to try to predict using the explanatory variable weight, the response variable miles per gallon within the city. So the plot is reasonable. You can fit the model reasonably in R using LM, and you get out some vector of coefficients. That's great. Now, in fact, we are going to replicate all that same work using Optim, which is a much more general solution commonly used in the world of machine learning. Step one is to define yourself a linear model that essentially defines the log likelihood we wrote out earlier. So that's going to be a function of your vector of coefficients beta. You've got some sort of model matrix that contains all of your explanatory variables, x, and your response variables, y. Now, we've actually gone through in a previous video what it takes to predict, given a vector beta, y hat. And in fact, you just take your model matrix and you work your way down the rows and you multiply your vector of coefficients times each row of the model matrix and add them up. This is really just building out the linear model we looked at earlier, where it's beta naught plus the sum of however many coefficients you have times all your explanatory variables. And once you have y hat, the goal is to minimize the sum of squared residuals. And that's what it looks like in vectorized code to minimize the sum of squared residuals. So we'll define that function. Let's just rewrite variables as y and x to keep our lives simple. We're going to use mpg city as our response variable. We can create through a very friendly function, model matrix. The model matrix we need for this function based on the data set we have. And then we will use Optim, starting from randomly chosen values for the coefficient vector beta that will be plugged in here, such that we can begin walking downhill along this function. That's the function we're going to try to minimize that we just created, linear model. We're going to use the relatively standard and excellent minimization algorithm, uh, BFGS, that supports limited memory and bounded coefficients. Luckily for us, we don't have any bounds on our coefficients here. We're going to pass our model matrix from the global environment into our function linear model through Optim. And we're also going to pass into linear model the value y, which is going to hold the vector y from the global environment. And this should do it for us. We got convergence 0. It took us 18 steps to get downhill. And we made it successfully downhill to the solutions or solution that minimizes the likelihood function through Optim just the same as it did through LM. So it turns out Optim is the more generic strategy for minimizing log likelihood functions or otherwise that much of the world of machine learning uses today. What's nice about LM is it's quick and simple and you don't have to write yourself a log likelihood function.